Hey guys, welcome to my channel. All right, let's see. Today we're gonna to do Python for pen testers. It says Python is probably the most widely used and most convenient scripting language in cybersecurity. This room covers a great example of Python scripts, including hash cracking, key logging, enumeration, and scanning. All right, guys. Uh, hope you like the last video to Python basics. We're gonna go on Python pen testers. I think I'm gonna do part one and two for this video. All right, let's see. Let's go right into it. Task one introduction. Uh, as you know, guys, um, I'm just gonna show you how to answer these questions. I strongly recommend reading through each task so you get a full understanding what's the room about. All right. So task one, answer questions below. What other tool can be used to convert Python scripts to Windows executables? And it says hint, external research may be required. Okay, so that's Google. Okay, let's see. Fortunately, there are ads. I remember there's one right here. Answer is py2exe. Or there's one right here too. Easy Google site this said no let's see so it does say pi installer but let's see what tool let me see So it did say Pi installer, but that's not the answer. Oh, this is another website, so stack of buttes right here. All right, correct answer. Then start the machine, complete it. Let's go task two, subdomain enumeration. And he says download task file, right? But uh, I think in the beginning, This is where it lists too. So you can type locate where it lists two dot. There you go. Because we're just doing download, it's it's the same file, so. Anyways, uh, answer your questions before you follow the example. This is what other protocol could you be used for subdomain enumeration? Hint, how does browser find IP address of any domain and subdomain? What you can do is you can actually just Google. It's uh, if you Google, it talks about techniques then there's these are here TNS dumpster. So it's a domain 
name, right? So the next question, what function does Python use to get the input from the command line? Never get into the argument with system unless it's this one. So let's see. Okay. So let's talk about this script right here. And you read it, it's the system.rgv, right? Input. See sublist, subdome for sub, in subdome, subdomes, yeah. So task three, directory enumeration, and then another script. Um, so we're going to follow this example, right? So make sure you download the word list or task two before, before proceeding with the following questions. So how many directories can your script identify on the target system? Extensions are HD, oh man, okay, so. Let's um, just make a file in nano. There we are. All right, so we're gonna copy this. Clipboard. Okay. So we're gonna change. We're gonna save this first one to save. And we're gonna use this directory, copy. And for the sub list, see the screen text box. Like that, so that's the directory, save. And we're going to Python 3. Get a set. Run over. So that's four. There's four links. And then what is location on the login page? So let's go to surfer. A blank. So that's not login page. Let's go to private. So it's private. Login is private HTML. Next question, where do you find cryptic hash? Let's uh, go to Apollo, and it's Apollo, so apollo.html, apollo.html. Next question, where, where are the usernames located? And we go back, it's the surfer, html. And then the last question is, what is the password assigned to rabbit? And it is lousy rabble. Okay, let's go task four, network scanner. Uh, let's close all this out. Okay. Answer questions below, what module was used to create the ARP request packets? Your best bet for packet generation and manipulation in Python. So this one talks about Scrappy, right? So if you're using a tap box, you need to install Scrappy first. So scrap Scrappy. And then you need to install. We gotta use that right, so we need to install Python through Scrappy. Then continue 
yes. All right. So the example is we got to use our scan.py. So I'll copy that script in the clipboard. All right, it's done, right? So I'm going to create a file, nano scan.py paste. All right, then we're going to change this to my IP address 1010.2.27. Exit, save. All right, let's try the ARP scan policy. Python 3 ARP scan. Let's see. Let's see. Scan the pawn. Can't open flower. Let's see. Right, ARSP scan. Hmm. That's weird. ARP scan. A no host. I think I'm missing something here. Let's try. Well, actually, what's the answer? Which is the variable you need to change according to your local IP block? Home on the range. So it's IP range. Oh, it's this example, guys. And, uh, what variable will you change to run this code on a system with no interface name and ENS33? It's a uh, interface. Oh, that's it, guys. You don't have to do anything. All right. Let's go task five, port scanner. So it talks about port scanner, another script. So it breaks down the script. And let's see. Question, ask your questions. Yo, what protocol would most likely to be using TCP port 22? So that's pretty easy. That's uh, SSH. You know, secure shell. Host. What module do we import to be able to use sockets? Import socket. What function is likely to fail if you didn't import uh, SCS? What function? Well, it will be, let's say, try if close exception would be system standout flush. And how many ports are open in the target machine? All right, let's do this. Uh, first, we're going to install app install Python 3. Freaklet. Then yes. All right. I'm going to copy this right here. And we 
create a file called port scan. Okay, so now port scan dot All right, so clipboard clear paste. Let's see. The only thing you need to change is the IP. So 10, 10, what is it? Let's see, 222, uh, two, 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 seven. I think that's it. Let's see. All right. Let's uh, Python 3 port scan. So it looks like, like the example. And it says the question, how many ports are open on the target machine? So it's running right now. Uh, as you know, guys, uh, I'm not in the IT industry, but I pass uh, the certification, CompTIA A+, Security+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, uh, just for fun, actually. So I hope you like the videos, uh, the ones I told you how I passed these. And yeah, how many ports are open target machine? There's three. And the highest, what's the highest port number open on target machine? 2100. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here. It'll be a part one. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the star button and the notification button, comment below. Uh, let me know how to improve these videos. And uh, thanks for watching.